All right, today we are talking about the advent calendar. I am super excited. So I wanna show you um, how to get your advent calendar printed and use it, and then also give you a couple of lessons. So first thing you need is some red and green paper. So I'm going to take the green paper and the red paper and um, print out our advent calendar on it. So I'm just gonna separate it out, you know, first one, then the other. So I'm just gonna alternate back and forth. However many copies you need uh, depends on how many kids you have. You can do it all together where each kid just um, does does their own. So, okay, so I'm just doing this. Um, does their own ring or each kid can have their own chain. It just depends on what ages you have, how independent they are and things like that. Your advent calendar has 10 pages in it, um, but the first five are for the younger students or yeah, I'd say younger students or less advanced students in Spanish. And then the second five pages are for the older students or the more advanced students. Or like if you have a kid that's just done it before, they did the advent calendar last year and they're ready for something new. So I'll pop this in the printer and then come back. Okay, so that was easy. So each page is a different color because I'm gonna go back and forth with it. The first five are fat, boy gorgo. Let's see if I can show you. And then the second five are thin. So here's the fat ones that are up and down. And then the second set starts that way. So they go the other way, so they're thinner. So I'm gonna come over here to the document camera. I'm gonna do the second one. So necesitas tijeras, you need your scissors and you're just gonna cut them apart, right? I've just decided before I was like, you know, I'm not going to put the phonetic spelling on here because this is for the more advanced students, but I've just decided I'm going to. So these don't have the phonetic spelling, but I want you to feel 100% confident when you're speaking. So I'm going to leave it. I'm going to go ahead and do it different. Okay. So first, before you put these together, um, it's fun to have a little lesson. So let's find a sentence starter. Voy a, voy a buscar, voy a buscar el niño Dios. It would be al niño Dios because uh, it's a person. And so you have to put the a, personal a, but voy a buscar al niño Dios. So in our family, we have a, a tradition back when I was little of uh, the manger, the little you know, the nativity scene. And my sister, my little sister and I would always um, <laughs> steal the baby, <laughs> steal baby cheeses and hide them from everybody. All right, so look at that. You can change it now. Voy a buscar a niños Dios. Necesito buscar la corona. Necesito buscar las luces. Quiero buscar las luces, perdón. Quiero buscar las luces. Quiero buscar uh, las tijeras. <laughs> or necesito buscar las tijeras. Necesito ayudar con las tijeras. Quiero ayudar con las tijeras. So you can change it up a little bit. And then if I can find chocolate caliente, then that would go with con los bombones. So you can see how you can change it up with the series idea and make it uh, really interesting um, sentences. Now to use them together, you're going to just staple them here, right? Or uh, you can use a glue stick. So I have this and then you just put it through and then you can staple it or have one of these. These are great. My students, I require my own students in, uh, in person to have these. They put their Spanish on one side, English on the other. But check this out. And make, let's do two or three pages. And then el ornamento. So you can use your new words and then change it. This is super cool. So you're getting the idea <laughs> of how to use the series 
So I want to look for, so you put the English on the back, but in pencil. I want to look for, I want to eat. Of course, that would not be good, but the kids will be laughing and that's okay. And so comer, and let's say el pavo, the turkey. And so you write the English just, just on the bottom in pencil so it doesn't show through because you want the children to um, focus in. So this is buscar, so I'm just going to write it up here to look for. And then right here, that one's pretty easy, the ornament. Now, um, we're going to add drawings to it, el ornamento, el ornamento, el ornamento, and then color it and make it nice. Comer, comer, comer. This tongue out, yum, comer. And so, to eat, just real small up there. So now we can see quiero buscar to look for. So I'll do like to look for. Quiero buscar el ornamento. I, I want to look for the ornament. Quiero buscar el pavo. I want to look for the turkey. In Espanol, el pavo dice glu glu. Okay, so it's not beautiful. Yours will be beautiful, but you get the idea here. So this is kind of a bonus little lesson. You can do it obviously with any kind of notebook, but I just love um, the idea of giving us the series idea without having to um, use your flashcards. So this is kind of really exciting. So take all your verbs and nouns, um, and then if you want to add adjectives, you could, if you want to cut them smaller, and then do another sentence starter here. So instead of quiero, let's do voy a, I'm going to, voy a, and how about one that we did this week in Spanish geniuses, debes, you should, <laughs> debes, how would we draw you should, let's see. Let's do like a finger, like, hey, you should do this. Debes. You should. So let's say you should help. Ayudar. And they can always add in the small words. Debes ayudar. <laughs> Man, so saying with, I was going to say with the turkey. <laughs> Debes ayudar con el pavo. But I like this one. Debes ayudar el pavo. And so. Uh, let's do another one that could be eating or helping or um, maybe cooking. Ayudar um, el pizza. That's not a very good one. We could do la hamburguesa for the hamburger. We could do, um, how about el maíz? El maíz, the corn. So the whole idea is you're taking words that are simple, that are one word at a time. So here's ayudar, I'm going to add to help up here. So if they need to look, they can. You never want them to be frustrated with their decoding. They're going to try to decode without looking because it's easier to not look. But if they need it, you want it handy right there. So they can just flip it up. So come here. Oh, come here. Oh, yeah, that's right. Too easy. Oh, I use that. Oh, that's right. To help. And then um, you can flip them around. So debes, what was I going to say? Cocinar. Cook. You should cook. So look at this super easy way now to um, add to our series of Charlotte Mason style of learning Spanish doing it in series, and now we can do it even more easily. So there's my little chef hat, cocinar, to cook, cocinar, cocinar. Now we're going to add, I guess I need to do my corn over here. Maize, maize, maize. Okay, that like maize. <laughs> cocinar. So check it out. Let's see how it goes. Debes, you should. <laughs> Debes cocinar el ornamento. Debes ayudar con el ornamento. Debes comer <laughs> el ornamento. Debes buscar el ornamento. Voy a buscar el ornamento. And then you can always say, no, I'm not going to look for the ornament. <laughs> no voy a buscar el ornamento. No voy a buscar el pavo. I'm not going to look for the turkey. No voy a buscar el pizza. So this is just a super fun, easy way. I would totally recommend doing the advent calendar, but I just had this idea of taking my skinny book and chopping it up like this. Um, the skinny book is on sale on my website. And then I use it, like I said, 
where we put Spanish on one side, English on the other. Um, they doodle, they, we use it for timelines, we use it for, oh look, look there, the term defining math fact working, this is supposed to look like the NyQuil thing, spelling and writing so you can learn notebook, so you can sleep, <laughs> or so you can get better, whatever. So, anyhow, I hope that inspires you. Um, this pile right here is going to be the fattest pile because you're going to have more nouns that you know, just because um, when we learned our first language, we learned our nouns first, then we really added in verbs and things like that, and then adjectives. So as you're learning, don't be frustrated that you don't have very many sentence starters. Um, it's okay to start with lots of nouns. All right.